We should use this for bike build number seven. But look at this. It doesn't look right. You see it? It's just off. It's the only part of like machined aluminum. So here you go. MHP-2100. If you have an S and S carbon cover on your bike, we got these bad boys. We'll put them on our Shopify site, the shop.moonshine Harley for you guys, but nice quick fix. We'll get bike number seven fixed up and then we'll rock and roll. Bike build number seven, pretty consistent build we do all the time with the suspension and the bar setup. It does have the 135 Devil Runner in her with the Moonshine Horsepower new 610 Big Bore Cam. We typically only run this cam when we do a monster head with the big square port monster intake manifold. If you look, he's got an S and S plus one inch stealth air cleaner setup and then like the beginning of the video, this is the new MHP Moonshine Horsepower all blacked out ring that goes on top of it. We put custom bolts in here that are just a touch longer to make it a little bit easier for install, hold it on better. So the head's right here, MHP plus 2.5 millimeter oversized valves in those heads with our square port, proprietary intake ports from Frankenstein Engine Dynamic. Um, we've teamed up with those guys years ago. We talk a lot about them. It makes a big difference on these motors. This is a stock Harley jug. So we take the stock one, we bore out the sleeve, and on this setup, we put in the larger 4.375 diameter bore sleeves in them for the 4.375 bore on the four and a half inch stroke, which makes the 135 cubic inch setup. On here, this is a 64 millimeter throttle body, so we are running the factory Harley Davidson 64 millimeter throttle body. When we do these setups, we have options to go with a 70 or 64. Sometimes we go to 64 because the customer already has one and invested money in it, and the 64 can handle 200 horsepower. So we have two different intakes. We have an intake that works with HPI 70 millimeter throttle body, and then we have the monster manifold that also works with the Harley Davidson 64 millimeter throttle body. In this guy, we got the 610 cam in here with an SNS oil pump and plate. We are running the fueling short travel lifters. They are their race series lifters with a pair of moonshine horsepower adjustable push rods. Flywheel in this guy is SNS flywheel. It has Corilla rods on it. Anytime we do these big motors, our 131 ass heater setup or larger, we're always going to that flywheel setup. We, we don't run um, stock flywheels in those big motors. Anytime we're going over 140 horsepower, we're turning to a built flywheel. Just for you guys trying to do a build, that's where we've identified the weak link. 140 horsepower, you're pushing a stock flywheel. On the top here, underneath these valve covers are a set of SNS roller rockers. Our springs on this guy are rated for 640. The cam we have in here is a 610, but with the over ratio rocker arm, it's actually a 624 on the intake. So we're kind of maxing out the setup and this guy's getting a little more. So we do build these with a 550 cam and we do build these with a 610. And when we run an over ratio, it comes out a little bit more. Tranny, stock transmission. On the primary, we're running our typical setup. So on the primary, we have the Moonshine Comp of Power Smooth, which you can purchase on the shop.moonshineharley.com website. We also have the Recluse Basket and the Recluse Torque Drive Clutch. It feels like stock, but they can handle 200 horsepower. You don't have to have a real stiff clutch lever. Um, you don't have to go over race clutch. This guy will hold anything you need. And the Compa Power Smooth saves your tranny, saves all the other things. When we go to a more aggressive comp is when we see the trannies have more problems, your belts have more problems. This setup is kind of to handle the big horsepower these motors are producing while making longevity on the rest of the drivetrain. You know, we don't want to kill that stuff too much. A little give is always a plus. On the rear end, we have a Krauss Moto Vector 1 axle kit. We've gone over these multiple times. It is really nice. Um, if you are running one of these and you're putting it on yourself, a couple things to keep in mind is we have to index the muffler to clear the axle here. Take a look at this, Randy. 
So if you notice, we have a little clearance here so it doesn't hit. If you don't clearance it, it will bang against your exhaust pipe and you'll hear it. So we, we clearance them. You gotta lock them down. These are real nice because they're held in by the shock. So they're not moving around. And then it's got a, a rear guy that pulls your axle back and it has a front lock on it. So you have a double lock system on this axle kit. It's nice. Um, the only thing to remember is you do have to index some mufflers depending on what system you have. This is a DND big bore and um, they are loud warning, caution, loud. You will set off every alarm in your apartment complex. When you go out to eat, all the car's alarms will be going off when you park, but I think that's what we're going for. Handlebar setup. Up front, chose to stay with a stock triple tree. So we don't see this a lot. Usually we have a triple tree. We have a riser set up here. It looks like a 10 inch pullback and it is a two and a half inch rise fly moto handlebar. So this is 12.5 total inches. I'm about 5'11". My arms are nice and comfortable. They're under my shoulders by a little bit, so I'm not gonna get fatigued. Really nice and easy to maneuver the bike around. I can see my gauges clearly, and I have 100% visibility of my radio. Bike's a little dirty, it was on a lift. I rolled it off because Shane's off today to do the video. We're gonna roll this bad boy in the dyno tomorrow when Shane's back in and go over what she did. But um, nice and easy. GP suspension up front, so you have a factory looking fork with the internals redone. These have all the settings you could want. So you have your preload, you have your rebound on your right fork, you have your compression on your left fork. Easy to get to. Um, preload are these two guys, you're gonna turn them the same amount. So if you turn one half a turn, you're gonna turn your other one half a turn. Preload's on the right and compression's on the left. Look at this guy, American flag right here. Made in America, that's why we like them. They are awesome. It's a really big upgrade from a factory fork setup. You don't have to go to inverted fork. Inverted fork has some additional benefits, but this guy is the next best thing. The rear end, this is the Screaming Eagle Owens setup. Um, I still prefer the gold guys, right, from Owens. I like the gold look. But if you're someone that's riding with a tour pack on the bike or you're riding with a backrest on the bike, you have to have two different setups. You can run the Screaming Eagle one, which they're longer, they hang over the rear end a little bit more. They're not as high and tight as when we run them on the Krauss bracket here. So if you're riding single up, I like the Owens mounted here instead of the Screaming Eagle Owens. If you have a tour pack or you're riding past your lot, this is a real good setup. The other option we have, if you want the gold reservoirs and you want a little cleaner look, we can run them in front of your bag right here with the Krauss Moto bracket and a pair of the Olins with the gold cartridges. Multiple different setups for multiple different riders. Very, very cool that Harley and Olins teamed up to bring this out. It has all the settings just like the ones we run. So you have your preload up here. You set your preload. You have your rebound on the bottom. Compression right on the back. So really easy, harder, softer, faster to the right, slower to the left. Um, you can really dial these shocks in. They are a game changer. I mean, Owens is the top shelf shock for pretty much any bike, any motorcycle, even cars. They're top in the industry. All right, next step on this bad boy is a dyno. I'm gonna turn her back over to Shane. He's gonna dyno it. We'll go over the results real soon. It's gonna be a beast. Put monsters out every day. What's going on, Chain from Moonshine? Just want to show you guys a few little things of a 135 we just finished here. Check out the dyno graph. Nice, smooth torque line all the way through. Hitting 140 foot pounds of torque at 2,500 and carries dang near what, 150 all the way through from 35 to just past 55. So, monster all the way across the board. The nice numbers also on the horsepower. Hitting 171 peak. And just amazing tune for how humid it is today. It's 55 degrees or 55% humidity here in the dyno today. Obviously a rainstorm here in Tennessee, but uh, 
Yeah, man, super, super happy with these numbers. Nice build, 135. Smooth, rideable all over, but if you want to let it eat, it'll eat. If you're looking for a build or would like to get in contact with us, the easiest way to do it is to go to our website. Type in moonshineharley.com. Once again, moonshineharley.com. Go to our homepage. On the homepage, there's tabs at the top of the screen. The one in the middle says Performance Shop. When you highlight Performance Shop, a drop down will pop up. Click on the Moonshine Horsepower button. Basically, what we need to know is how to contact you. You need to fill out your name your phone number, and then the bike. The more info you put on here, the more prepared we are when we call you. Your current engine, current parts on the bike, because we want to know what we can continue to use in the build you're looking for, or if you need everything. Um, what parts are going to be friendly to the build you're looking for? And then building goals, what are you looking for? What do you want us to accomplish with your bike? Put it in there. Also put the time frame. First available, you're three, four months out. Let us know how quickly you would like us to get to your build. And then hit that submit button, someone from our horsepower team will call you back. So it'll either be Aaron, Nick, myself, Jamie, or maybe MVO, Michael Van Orden. One of us four will call you back. Our schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. All the horsepower guys, Tuesday through Saturday. The shop is open seven days a week. And typically when you fill one of these out, it can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 48 hours to get back in contact with you. But we will. We appreciate the support. Please, if you haven't already, go to the subscribe button, click that guy. Also, you might want to click on the bell for notifications. Let's you know when we have a live event coming up on YouTube. Also lets you know when we're about to drop a brand new video. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support. Have a good one.